Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. How is everybody today? I ask you every single day. How are you, Phil? <laughs> I'm wonderful. Well, that's a good thing. So am I. But I have my favorite color base. Well, one of my favorite color bases down, which is my black color to go. You just like it because you can see your reflection in it. That's probably true. Because <laughs> I never know what I look like, right? <laughs> right. So there's no silicone, no water, no glue in this. I have this leftover from uh, Sherwin-Williams. And uh, like I said the other day, uh, rumor has it that Sherwin-Williams uh, colored goes are going to be out by the end of the year again. <coughs> so hopefully that is true. Because they have a lot of beautiful colors. So with that said, I have Neon Pink by Artist Loft with Light Magenta. Pixie Dust Primer Elements and Mango Mamba. This is Deep Violet by Blick. This is Chris Akala by Primary Elements. Amsterdam Azo Orange. Yellowish Green by Amsterdam. Stargazer Primary Elements. 24 Karat Gold by DecoArt. And hiding in the background here is Quinacridone Magenta by Golden. Mm. which I think I'm going to be using as well. Okay. Not quite sure, but we brought her out just in case. Okay, so we're going to get started here and see what we're doing. So, what is everybody doing for their paintings? Leave me a comment and tell me what you guys are all have been up to and what's your favorite pours and stuff. I don't really have a favorite pour, actually, because I kind of just like all of them. Well, you like to change it up. You don't want to do the same thing every day. No. Well, that really shows up on the on the black that face. Neon. Wow, yes. Yeah, it really does. That's why I chose it, Phil. Okay. Look at that, how that shows up. Mm-hmm. All these paints and pigments that Kathy has put together for this pour uh, are using the same recipe. Uh, Kathy actually has two uh, pouring medium recipes that she uses. There are direct links to those pouring medium recipes in the description box. The reason she has two is that some people cannot get all the products necessary for one or the other recipe. So it's nice to have two. Uh, more people can then uh, enjoy the benefits of using Kathy's recipe. Yeah, whatever one you want to use will work. Yeah, they work equally as well. They do. So yeah, I just went over to my table and just started picking out some colors and I thought, oh, I'm doing a black base today. Love these black bases. Yeah, you haven't done one in a while, and I really like black bases, especially when you have the negative space, uh, the black showing. What's funny is, and you didn't like black bases at first, and now you like them. I told you I'd bring you around, Phil. I knew it. Well, as long as you stick to these uh, nice bright colors and uh, the products that you use, uh, you, the colors remain vibrant. They do. And of course, Kathy is an affiliate of Color Art and all their wonderful pigments and products. You can get a nice 20% discount off of the, all your purchases by using Kathy's discount code, Kathy Miller 520 There's a link and the discount code is in the description box. Yeah, so head on over. And pick yourself up some handy dandy gorgeous colors. That really shows up on yes, that. Yes, it does. Ooh. Yeah, is also an affiliate of KS Resin. That's the resin that she uses on her paintings. And there's a direct link and discount code for KS Resin also in the description box. Ah, so you're using a little bit different color scheme on these sort of half moons you're putting on there. That's cool. Yes, I am. Very cool. 
Very nice, bright coloration. Do I have do I have paint on my face now? No. I thought I did. I'm thinking, oh my goodness. I wouldn't tell you if you did anyways. I know. <laughs> Why would I even bother asking? So funny. Of course I'd tell you. No, you wouldn't. You just stand there laughing, so then I know I have it on me. Okay, people. So, what I want to explain here now is I did not use all the colors on purpose because I've had some people say to me, oh, you know what, you forgot that color or forgot that color. I forgot a lot of colors on these <laughs> moons because I don't want those on my moons. I only wanted three colors on my moons. Ah, okay. Just to clarify because I know somebody will say something and uh, that's what I want. So. Well, it's kind of neat because... Uh... A lot of our subscribers and members watch your videos very closely and you can't get away with anything. No. They catch it. They do. <laughs> Which is cool. They absolutely do catch it. This is my uh, Oxide Black with my Australian Floetrol for my CA, my cell activator. It's uh, Amsterdam Oxide Black. Correct. To be specific. Um, you know, it's I'm your cell thinking, activator. I'm wondering if I should do my moons in the white cell activator. I wonder how that would look. You could try maybe it. Maybe black and white, because that might be pretty on my moons. Well, what do you think, Phil? I guess you don't think. Well, my unsolicited advice for today is I would stick to the black cell activator okay. on everything. Okay. We shall then. We shall, we shall, we shall. That'll be fine. That will be fine, Phil. So yeah, while I'm watching this, I'm standing here thinking, what am I gonna have for lunch? <laughs> <laughs> That's real good. <laughs> know, You're supposed to be concentrating on the painting. <laughs> I'm thinking, what am I gonna have for lunch? I don't really know. I think I'm going to have a little soup. I think that just sounds kind of good. Too bad, you know, people can't uh, talk to me while I'm doing this because they could give me some suggestions. <laughs> That's true. Like, come on, if, people, give me some suggestions if for you, lunch. If you were doing this live, you'd have all kinds of uh, suggestions scrolling across the screen. That's for sure. We should probably do a live, Phil. How many people, give me and leave a comment. How many people want me to do a live? It would be something because I've never done a live. And uh, let me know how many of you really would like me to do a live because I, I will do one. I just got to figure out how. I think you just poke live. Oh, well, that's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, maybe we should try that, Phil. One oh, of these goodness. days, we'll we'll do a live. Oh, brother. It would be fun. I don't know if you really want to see all the behind-the-scenes stuff. Oh, I don't care. <laughs> you know me, I don't care. We, I mean, we have to quit arguing once we start to the video. Oh. Uh, we don't really argue. I know, I'm just kidding. I just tell you what, giving I'm, it to you again. what I'm doing. I'm just saying, you know... I'm not doing it if I'm not doing it. <laughs> Nobody can make me do whatever I don't want to do. Uh, I'm, I'm no, too I, old. I learned that. Yeah, I'm too old for any of that stuff. It's like, no. I pretty wow. much do what I want to do. Just absolutely fabulous coloration in cells. And the half moons that you use the three colors on. You picked up all three colors very nicely. They're kind of pretty. Yes. I'm liking that uh, magenta. I think that's yes, really magenta, pretty. Yes, magenta, the, the gold, and the azo orange, azo orange. Azo orange. Okay. It's got to come up. Very right? cool. We're going to blow this to get these colors underneath.
Kathy does have an Amazon shop that she's curated uh, with many of the supplies that she uses in paint pouring. There's a direct link to Kathy's Amazon shop in the description box. You can click into there. There's, I think, about 12 different categories uh, of items that are out there with about 150 different items that uh, are available. So check it out. Oh, what was that going wow. to be now? This is just... That really is giving you a nice stained glass look there. What do you think about uh, doing the comb on these? Yeah, I think so. Maybe? I think I think that's or fine. Or should I just do my enhancing and just connect them all? I think that maybe that's what it would be better. Oh, I see. Okay. I think yeah. I'm going to do that instead because I think it would just be... Because it looks pretty... It looks well, you've really got, pretty with all the stained glass and stuff. You really got some fabulous cells, and I would really hate to have much of that, ta yeah, you know, yeah. taken away. Exactly. So I, I'm not going to do that. I mean, it almost looks like they're lit up from behind. Oh, they the are. Color. I, I have, I have a, a bulb <laughs> underneath there, Phil. Oh, I brother. forgot to tell you. That was my surprise. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay, donkey then, right? That's right. Okay, we're going to do a little enhancing here and uh, bring some of these things yeah. to life. So, you ready? Yeah. Now, okay, as solicit well advice number two, mm -hmm. uh, I would say... You want me to turn the light bulb off? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can see uh, doing enhancing on the side uh, swipes, but it's, I think I've said this already. Oh, just... Caesar, this is so nice. I'm just babbling. I know I'm going to connect them, so I, you okay. can keep babbling, because this babbler ain't listening. Okay, well that's that, that's good. How do I want to do this? Oh, well, let's see here. Because we'll lose some of that anyways. Yeah. I think they might be far enough away from the edge. I don't think you're going to lose much, actually. You never know. I just want to connect them a little bit. I think they're going to be really pretty. <clears throat> yeah, the um, the central swipe is super colorful. The side swipes are very good accents to that. Subtle accents really to the central swipe. It doesn't take away at all from that central swipe and the black base sets everything off fabulously. Yes. I really like the three colors you use for the side swipes. <clears throat> the gold, the magenta, and the azo as a orange. Azo orange. Okay. We're just going to spin it a little bit. Okay. See what we get here. Because it's, it's pretty. I love this black piece. I don't want to spin it too much. No. Because I don't want to lose a lot of this. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually 
Thank really you. glad that those side swipes are staying staying very nicely yes okay okay cool this is really really pretty wow what do you think phil i think actually this is one of my favorite swipes you've ever done really yes because the central swipe as i said it it, it looks like it's backlit i mean it's just Here, so vibrant Let's get your phone on and see once. Hang on, though. I just got to pop a couple bubbles, people. Sure, I took my gloves off. Why did you do that, Kathy? Oh, because you want black paint all over you. Very nice, subtle color, colors in the uh, side swipe. Okay, I'll turn it for you. Okay. That's, Look at the glitz. Oh, wow. Well, I was just going to go down to center first. Okay. Okay. Look at that glitz. Yes. That's what you get with the primary element pigments. I mm -hmm. mean, they're just absolutely oh, stunning. They are stunning. I mean, look at over here. Holy yeah, moly. Yeah, wow. The Chrysocala. Is really cool. It is. It's beautiful. That's, that always turns out very nicely. The gold is sparkling just like gold should. Yeah, it's beautiful. Here, we'll go down the other gold side. Yes. Wow. Ooh, don't drop the phone in there, Phil. You got to come a little closer. There. Oh, yeah. There we Look go. at that. Yes. Yeah, if you go up too far, you don't see it as much. But when you go down on this... Yeah, I'm going to go down. Oh, um, I mean, look at that glitz. This colored part in the center. It's beautiful. I'm loving this. Look at that. Wow. I'm so glad I did uh, the half moons different. Yes. Than having all, you know, like one color. Well, it just because has, it really sets it off. It sets off the middle so nice. It's yep. really, really pretty, people. Um, try it. Try this uh, creation type thing that I just showed you because you never know what you're going to get. And if you spin it too fast, you're going to lose your ends. Try not to spin it that fast. So just make sure that you have the right amount of paint on your base that it's not too thick, because that way you don't have to spin a lot of it off. Yes, and it also will distort the cells a lot more if you spin too much or too fast. So. And I've gotten some questions on how long do I leave my paint, paintings dry? Um, good question. We're here in Arizona. Um, it dep really depends where you live. It depends how much paint you have on your canvas, whether you cover it or not. It depends on humidity, coldness. Um, I can't really answer that here in Arizona. It varies because it's cool here now in the morning, gets warmer in the afternoon. Summer, it's 115. I cover my paintings with a, a cardboard box so that they don't crack. And um, I leave them covered for at least a week. So... With that said, everybody, I hope you like this creation. I, I love it. Um, give it a try. It's a lot of fun. So uh, stay healthy, stay well, and um, head on over to our Facebook page, Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. It's for free to sign up. Sign up on our YouTube channel or subscribe to it. Hit the bell. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a like. It really helps my channel. So I appreciate every single one of you, and I want all of you to have a great day. Remember, it's only paint. We'll see you later, alligators. Bye. One last.